Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how the determined students behind Green Garden Bakery are making it grow. A carrot pocket bread. The bee brownie. The lemon zucchini muffins. Those are just a few of the offerings from the Green Garden Bakery. They have an extensive vegan menu and tour farmers markets and do pop-up events. We use the vegetables from our community garden. Everything's local. And everything's run by them. Linsa Ahmed is in charge. A lot of people view North Minneapolis as not a safe place or a place that people get a lot of healthy, nutritious food, but we try to challenge those stereotypes. They got the idea after putting together a bake cell for a sick friend. Business is booming, and just like their vegetables, they want to grow. We want to sell our desserts in the grocery store, coffee shop around the nation. Their parents haven't had any experience in businesses. Many of them are the first ones that are going to graduate um, in their families, and yet um, they've built a uh, you know award-winning uh, bakery that's um, being recognized kind of across the country now. They've raised more than $150,000 in support, hoping for 11,000 more so they can build a dream kitchen in a portable store. Just because we're youth doesn't mean we can't accomplish more or like just as much as an adult would. We've proven that this works. We just need the money to take it to the next level. The students don't just use their money for themselves. They also plant their ideas in other communities. In a few months, they'll travel to Ferguson, Missouri to do just that. In North Minneapolis, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. If you'd like to help these ambitious gardeners and bakers reach their goal, we have a link at WCCO.com. In the meantime, you can catch them at farmer's markets all around town. That's so, wonderful. Yeah, we wish them luck. Definitely. Uh,